Hi, I'm Taya Williams. Thank you for joining me here on Taya's Sweet Aroma. Today, I am going to be sharing with you the recipe for my asparagus soup. This asparagus soup is really light. It's one of those just light, refreshing soups that you can have as a main dish um, alongside some crusty bread, or you could even serve it um, before a meal or with your meal, however you choose to serve it. Asparagus is one of those vegetables that as a kid, I don't remember eating it as a kid, but um, I gravitated more towards it as an adult because it's one vegetable that my husband really enjoys eating. Um, what I'm doing right now is I am breaking, well, I'm prepping my onions and my garlic. As soon as I'm done getting them cut up and ready, um, I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so I can show you how to break down the asparagus. To get started with breaking down this asparagus, what I like to do is I take one of the bundles and I half in it. Whenever you're working with asparagus, you wanna be sure to break off this tougher end. Now we are gonna be pureeing the soup, so you could leave it intact. I still like to remove it. And to remove it, you just wanna bend it. They will break wherever it stops at. Sometimes you have to pull it apart but for the most part, they break pretty easily right where it starts to get tougher at. So this is the last one. Now, you don't wanna throw out these stems. These can be added to stocks. It doesn't matter what flavor stock, you can add these ends to the stock. So freeze these up and save them for whenever you're making a stock. They don't have to go to waste. I'm gonna get some of these ready so that I can dice them down. Now I'm taking some of these asparagus, I'm gonna do the same for this whole half that I took from that bundle, but I'm only gonna dice it up to this half and then I'm gonna take the tops, add them to this larger bowl. But what I like to do is I like to get some nice little round ends. Okay, then I'm gonna take these tops. Now these, it kind of looks like um, green onions or some, some of you may know them better as scallions. Um, but it, it, what, I, what I like to do with these is I'm gonna be sauteing these before we start cooking up the soup. And then these are gonna be used as part of the topping. We're done with that part. We can start prepping down the rest, which is gonna go into this bigger bowl. Now for the rest of this asparagus, it really doesn't matter. I cut it down into thirds, adding it to the bowl because this part of the asparagus is gonna be getting pureed with the rest of the ingredients for the soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish prepping the rest of these ingredients and then we can move on to cooking the soup. The ingredients you're gonna need for this soup is some heavy whipping cream, freshly squeezed lemon juice, some of my homemade chicken stock, which I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description box. Now, if you don't wanna make up your own, a batch of your own chicken stock, you can go ahead and use some from the store. I also, or you can also use um, chicken broth is fine to use in here as well. Um, what I have in here is some salt, some freshly ground black pepper, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, onion, and of course the star ingredient, which is the asparagus. Now I'm also gonna be making up some um, a spicy red oil to drizzle over the top of the soup, um, but we'll get to those ingredients here in a bit. To get started, I've had my pot here preheating over a medium heat. I'm gonna add in just a couple of tablespoons of the oil along with the diced asparagus. Now I am not gonna be cooking this part of it very long. I want it to keep some bite. For this first layer, I'm gonna add in a little extra crack, fresh cracked black pepper, as well as a pinch of salt, which will help it cook down a little faster. Get it stirred. These are cooking up really nicely, as you can see there. Um, one thing you may have noticed about the asparagus that I'm using as well is they are the thinner cut asparagus. You will want to, to adjust the cooking time by maybe a minute or two for the thicker ones. I'm gonna give this a try really quick. I want it to still have some crunch. Mm, and they are perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these out and put back into the same bowl they came out of, that's fine. Now to my pot, I'm gonna add in the rest of the olive oil along with my onions. Stir. 
Now that my onions have gotten nice and translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the garlic, get it stirred in and cook it for about another 30 seconds to a minute. I don't want the onion to start browning. Just wanna take away that raw garlic taste. So my garlic and onion has had a chance to get nice and cooked down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strain off most of this oil back into the same container I had the oil in to begin with. Okay, I have most of the oil out of the pot. Um, it's probably only about a half a tablespoon or so left in the pot. And we are gonna be setting this oil aside because now that this oil has been infused with the onion and garlic flavor, this is the oil that I'm gonna be using to make, um, to make the red pepper oil for the top of the soup. Now to this pot with the onion and garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and add in all the other ingredients. I'm gonna add in the asparagus, the chicken stock, the salt and the pepper, the only two ingredients that I left out at this stage is the heavy whipping cream as well as the lemon juice. Now what I'm gonna do with this asparagus is I'm trying to get it coated into that chicken, that chicken stock. I'm gonna turn this heat up. Once it comes to a boil and the asparagus get, starts to get nice and tender. Now you don't wanna overcook the asparagus because you want it to keep this beautiful bright green color. So um, as soon as they get nice and tender, I'm gonna go ahead and stop cooking them and um, then I'll be showing you the next step. While my asparagus is cooking down and getting nice and tender, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this red pepper oil to drizzle over the top. The ingredients you're gonna need for it is the reserved olive oil, which has been infused so much with that onion as well as that garlic flavor. And in here I have a fourth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika and also um, a half of a teaspoon of cayenne. Now, if you're worried about the heat, cut the cayenne in half. And if you don't have smoked paprika, you can also just use regular paprika. It's gonna give it a really good color. I just like using the smoked paprika because I like having a bit of that smoky flavor added to it. You can see it takes on a really beautiful color, which is gonna show up really nicely over the green asparagus soup. Just gonna get it stirred in till everything is mixed in well, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside. My asparagus has now been boiling for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and give one a try. Once I get around the steam, it's hot. Probably only has about another minute. A little bit more of a bite than what I want. Now, remember what I said, if you're using the thicker asparagus, you're gonna to wanna to, um, give them a little bit longer to cook but this will be ready here in about one more minute. My asparagus is now nice and tender. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start adding it to the blender carefully and have everything in as well as the broth. Now you do not wanna overfill your mixer because this, as it is pureeing, it is gonna to rise to the top. So make sure that um, if your blender is a little smaller than mine that you um, do it in batches. Gonna go ahead and get this pureed. Okay, the soup looks to be nice and smooth. You can see how bright green in color it is. I'm gonna go ahead and add it back to the pot. I'm now bringing the soup back to the stove. I'm gonna turn it up to like a medium low temp. I don't need it to come back up to a boil at this stage. I'm just gonna add in the last few couple of ingredients and allow them to heat through. Add in the lemon juice as well as the heavy cream. Get those stirred in. Once everything starts to get heated through, you'll wanna give the soup a, t a taste. Mm. Add more salt and pepper if you'd like. I don't like to add more salt um, beforehand until I've pureed it because my chicken stock has some salt in it as well. So once it gets pureed in with the stock, it usually takes on more of a salty flavor. So keep that in mind when you're tasting your asparagus to see how tender it is before blending it, that it will take on more of the, the broth flavor once everything is pureed together. 
The cream and lemon juice have heated up nicely in with the soup and you can see how thick the soup is by taking my finger. Whew, that was hot. Okay, by taking my finger and rubbing the back. So it's a, a really nicely smooth pureed soup, but it does have a bit of texture in it, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and plate me some up. So I went ahead and served myself up just a little of the soup because I'm going to be serving it alongside dinner tonight. Now, as far as the toppings go, we have the, the diced asparagus, which um, we sauteed up at the very beginning. You could add as much or as little to your soup as you wish. And then also from the, the oil that um, we sauteed the asparagus in, um, as well as the onions and the garlic, that reserved oil. I'm gonna get these spices mixed back in because the longer it sits, they, they start to separate from the oil. Now you can drizzle on as much or as little of this oil as you want based on your tolerance. Now, I don't think it's spicy at all. I think it just gives it a nice peppery flavor as well as a bit of smokiness. So I say this is definitely a step you do not wanna skip. Make it up how I have it written up on the recipe and add as much to the soup based on your own tolerance, but definitely add some to your soup. Another optional topping, which I, I'll have listed as well is some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And of course, some extra fresh, freshly ground black pepper, which I think is a must have, especially with vegetable soups. Gonna go ahead and get these mixed in, give it a taste. Mm. So good, so rich and smooth. Probably not the best soup to be talking with your mouth full, but <laughs> it's very good. I love that extra texture, that nice little subtle smokiness from the smoked paprika. Got that richness from that cream and the lemon juice. It's not, um, this is not a soup that you're gonna taste the lemon juice in. It just really kind of brightens up the soup some. The asparagus is definitely the star in the soup. If you like asparagus, you gotta give this soup a try. Well, then you're gonna love it. And I'll be sure down below in the description box to include a link over to my blog where you'll find the written recipe. I thank you for spending time with me here today. and. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention before I go is that this soup, um, if, if you have extras, it stores really well in the fridge. Now, if you want it to make it ahead and freeze it, you can do that as well. The only thing is you do not want to add it, um, you do not want to add the cream into it at that stage. So make it all the way up to the point to right before you add the cream, so pretty much get it all nice and pureed. Then when you're ready to heat it up, thaw it up, warm it up, and then add the cream towards the very end as I did here today. So again, thank you for, be, uh, for spending time with me here today and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.